Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and this is now question number three from the International A Level Pure Mathematics P4 specimen paper. And this is a question here about integration by substitution. Um, in this particular question here, we're asked to use the substitution u equals 1 plus tan x to find the exact value of this integral, which is 1 over cosine squared x plus sine x times cosine x with respect to x integrated between 0 and pi over 3. Okay, now, whenever we're doing integration by substitution, I always like to start off in this particular manner because our objective is, first of all, we'll say, okay, let y be the actual function that is being integrated. So y is 1 over cosine squared x plus sine x times cosine x. That's what we're integrating. So what we're going to do is we're going to integrate y with respect to x. These are the limits that we're asked to, to use, which are pi over 3 uh, to 0. Okay, but I'll leave that out of here for now. And we need to integrate this with respect to x using the substitution u. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write y dx, I'll put du, and underneath the dx and du. Those cancel out, and that, that will give us y, the integral of y with respect to x. So this and the integral of y with respect to x are identical. Okay, but here we're going to do it so that we end up with integrating things with respect to u, because we've got du here. So our y and our dx du have to be expressed in terms of u, and our limits have to be in terms of u as well. Okay. So our limits have to be in terms of u as well because we're integrating with respect to u. So those limits have to change in terms of u. Okay, so we could um, deal with that. Let's let's deal with this uh, doing this function. First of all, we need to find what dx du is. Now we're told that u is equal to 1 plus the tan of x. So we can find du dx quite easily, which is in the integral of tan x is the secant squared of x. It's in your formula book if you forget it. Um, and if du dx is secant squared x, we want dx du, which is the reciprocal of secant squared x. The reciprocal of secant squared x is cosine squared x. Because secant is the, the secant of x is the reciprocal of the cosine of x. So the reciprocal of secant squared x is cosine squared x. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this expression here um, and I'm going to replace everything with what is actually equal to. And then I'm going to try to convert it in such a way that I end up with just u. So first of all, I'll just keep it written as u1 and u2 for now. And I'll change those in a minute. u1 and u2. And my y is 1 over. Let me just make some space here. OK, so my y is 1 over cosine squared x plus sine x times cosine x. And my dx du is cosine squared x. And I've got to integrate that with respect to u. So now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to simplify this. Now, I can see that something might work here if I was to do the following. So I'm going to put u1 and u2. I'm going to put cosine squared x over. Now what I'll do is I'll take out a common factor here of cosine x. Let's see if that helps us. Cosine x times, and I'm going to have um, cosine x plus sine x. And I've got to do integrate that with respect to u. So I still have to change this in terms of u, but that might help us. This cosine x will cancel with this cosine squared x, leaving us with cosine x over. So I have u1 and u2. I have now cosine x divided by cosine x plus sine x. And I got to integrate that with respect to u. So I still have to change those in terms of u. Now, I know our u is equal to 1 plus tan x. Okay, u is equal to 1 plus tan x. Now, how am I going to end up with 1 plus tan x? Um, how am I going to end up with a u term? So I need to end up with, I need to have a tan x 
in here somehow for me to be able to you know um, express x in terms of u and i need to get rid of this cosine x at the top here um so what i'm what i'm thinking what i could do is if i divide both the numerator and the denominator of this fraction by cosine x it will help me to solve that problem so if i take the numerator and divide it by cosine x and I take the denominator and divide it also by cosine x what will happen was will be this I have u1 and u2 cosine x divided by cosine x is 1 over I'll have cosine x divided by cosine x which is 1 and sine x divided by cosine x which is 10x you see how that's now become exactly almost the same as that so now I can get things uh, sorted out let me just um, change the values of u as well now so this is going to be basically 1 over u du isn't it because 1 plus tan x is the same as u um, so dividing both the top and the bottom by cosine x helped us to get it into this form now that's something I can integrate by let me just change the limits now I know that the limits that we had in the beginning were when x uh, for x is pi over 3 and 0 so when x is pi over 3, then u is 1 plus the tan of pi over 3. Um, if you were to calculate the tan of pi over 3, I think that gives you root 3 over 1. Let's just make sure. So we have to be in radian mode, which we are. So we're going to say tan of pi over 3. And that gives us root 3. Good. So that's going to be 1 plus root 3. So I know that's one of the limits here is 1 plus root 3. And when x is equal to 0, u is equal to 1 plus the tan of 0, which is equal to 1. The tan of 0 is 0. So that's going to be a 1 here. Okay, so those are the limits that we need to put into this uh, for us to work out what it is. So now we're almost there. Now we have to integrate 1 over u with respect to u, which gives us lin u. So we end up with lin of the modulus of u and you're going to have 1 plus root 3 as one limit as 1 as the other limit so you end up with the lin of the modulus of 1 plus root 3 minus the lin of the modulus of 1 so you end up with the lin of 1 plus root 3 that's a positive so we don't need the modulus sign lin of 1 is 0 and there we have the answer to our question so that was um, seemingly tricky at the beginning but it worked out to be quite simple. So integrating by substitution, it really helps you to start off in this manner here. Y dx du du. Just replace the y with whatever y is, dx du with whatever dx du is, and then you try to simplify that expression so that you end up with just u terms, okay? No x terms. So that's what we try to do here. And um, we spotted something that if we divide by cosine x, then you get rid of these cosine x's and this turns into a tan x and you're then able to continue and replace the 1 plus tan x with u and then integrate that and don't forget to change the limits to be in terms of u and there we have the answer to that question okay so that's the answer for part the question number three um uh, other questions to do with integration you'll find in the playlist that should appear somewhere over here somewhere um, above that should be the playlist for the paper that this comes from, which is a specimen paper for P P Math Pure Mathematics P4. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the icon that appears here. And at the top of the screen, you should find a card taking to another P4 paper that you might want to watch. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.